For this situation, we are going to look at the calibration steps that are required in calibrating a multi-nozzle boom sprayer, and we're going to use a granular fertilizer. I've selected 4600 urea as my fertilizer source, and the level of application is a half pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. Our nozzle spacing on the sprayer boom is 24 inches, and we're going to use the 1 1 28th of an acre calibration method, and we're going to work through this in just a second. And we have a 75-gallon spray tank that's mounted in which we're going to use. Now, this 1 1 28th of an acre calibration method is uh, a, a very easy means of determining the calibration of a multi-nozzle boom sprayer. And what we do is that we take on the basis of what is 1 1 28th of an acre, that's 340 square feet, and using the sprayer boom nozzle spacing, 24 inches, we're going to figure out that 24 inch boom nozzle spacing means that we need to design a course length of 170 feet. Okay, so 24 inches is two feet times 170 feet, that equals 340 square feet. And what this relationship does is that since there are 128 fluid ounces in a gallon, and we're working with 1 1 28th of an acre, that means that whatever we capture out of a single nozzle for a known amount of time that takes us to travel from point A to point B to cover 170 feet in length, for our example, that is going to equate in fluid ounces to gallons per acre. So in doing this example, and I'm just going to give you these numbers, we found that it took us approximately 39 seconds to cover our course length. And that 39 seconds, uh, that, that equates pretty closely to three miles per hour, which is a standard operating speed for many sprayers, even walking speed. And just to give you a little bit more background information, three miles per hour is roughly 4.4 feet per second. So these aren't things that we are actually calibrating in this case, but this is information to give you the background of where the numbers come from. What's important here is that we're going to collect the sprayer output from a single nozzle for 39 seconds. And we have done this, and for our example purposes, it turns out to be 40 fluid ounces. And since this is the 1 1 28th of an acre uh, basis of calibration, and the corresponding fluid ounces equates to uh, gallons per acre, 40 fluid ounces from a single nozzle, is telling us that, well, your sprayer is currently calibrated to deliver 40 gallons. Let me get my pen back here to do this. 40 gallons per acre, GPA. Okay, so that is what the sprayer is calibrated to deliver, 40 gallons per acre. Now, if we're going to make up a full spray tank, that is 75 gallons, and 75 gallons divided by a spray that's calibrated to deliver 40 gallons per acre, this is going to tell us how much area can a full spray tank cover. 75 divided by 40 is 1.9 acres. 1.9 acres times the square footage in an acre, which is 43,560. And we can cover with a full spray tank 82,000 764 square feet, okay? That's with a full 75 gallon spray tank. We can cover 82,764 square feet if it's calibrated at 40 gallons per acre. Now, let's work with uh, the product that we have. It's 4600. We want a half pound of nitrogen. So how much 4600 is required to give me a half pound of nitrogen, that is my desired level of application per thousand square feet. So you will take 0 0.5 pound of nitrogen, and your choices are either divide or multiply by this percent analysis over here, 46%. And anytime you're converting from nutrient to fertilizer, you divide. The number has to get larger when you divide by a fraction. So 0 0.5 pounds of nitrogen divided by 0.46, 46%, which is our nutrient analysis, that equals approximately 1.1 pounds of 4600 
is required per thousand square feet and that gives me the 0 0.5 pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet. Now we're going to use some proportions to work with our spraying system to determine how much fertilizer do we need to put into that full 75 gallon spray tank. So again we look at some information that we have have got what's in front of us in terms of working with. I know that if um, 1.1 pounds of 4600 is required to give me you know the half pound that I need that is on a thousand square foot basis correct because 1.1 pounds gives me a half pound of nitrogen per thousand let's proportion this to the uh, how many pounds of 4600 would that be in order to treat what an entire full 75 gallon spray tank can cover and we just calculated that that was 82,764 square feet correct so if I take 1.1 pounds per thousand as to X is to 82,764 and in proportions as long as your units that are on the top correspond uh, on each side and units on the bottom correspond what's on the bottom of the other side so pounds 4600 pounds 4600 square feet square feet it's a legitimate proportion because all proportions are is basically shrinking or enlarging relationships between two variables we cross multiply we divide and we solve for X and we get 91040.4 is to 1000 times X we divide both sides now by 1000 and we get approximately 91 pounds of 4600 will be placed into a sprayer that's calibrated to deliver 40 gallons per acre and it will be delivering one half pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet so in the real world you'd add probably 30 or 40 gallons into the tank you'd add your 91 pounds of urea let it dissolve agitate it then fill the remaining volume up to 75 gallons and if everything stays the same in terms of pressure and speed you will now be applying nitrogen at one half pound of N per thousand square feet. Now what if we do not have the need to mix up a full spray tank because let's look at an example again and where our total square footage that's to be treated is only 20,000 square feet. How much water would we need and how much fertilizer would go in the tank if we only want to treat 20,000 square feet. So our example uh, proportion could set up something like this. 40 gallons per acre is what it's calibrated to deliver. So 40 gallons per 43,560 square feet. What does that work out to be in terms of how many gallons of spray volume do you need to treat 20,000 square feet? Okay, and again, my units are corresponding on both the top and the bottom. So it's a legitimate proportion. We cross multiply, divide, and solve for X. We get 800,000 equals 43,560 times X. Don't let the, the strange numbers bother you at all because it's simply just a proportion. We divide both sides by 43,560 in order to solve for X. And when we do that, X turns out to be approximately 18.4. And remember that our units are gallons. So my spray volume to treat 20,000 acres, excuse me, 20,000 square feet, big difference, is going to be 18.4 gallons okay, of solution. So that's how much will go into that tank as far as its final volume goes. Now we've got to determine how much 4600 will go in. And we know that we want from this previous proportion up here 1.1 pounds of 4600 is going to be the rate we need to give us a half pound of N per thousand square feet so 1.1 pounds 4600 is to a thousand square feet as to how much can we 
treat now, uh, which is 20,000 square feet. That's going to be X pounds of 4600 is to 20,000 square feet. Cross multiply, divide, solve for X. We get 22,000 equals 1,000 times X. Divide both sides by 1,000. And our answer, which is going to be in units of pounds of 4600, is 22 pounds of urea, 4600. And again, real world, you'd probably add 7 or 8 gallons of water into the tank. You would add your 22 pounds of 4600, agitate until the product is uh, completely dissolved and then restore the final volume up to 18.4 gallons. And once again, if pressure and speed are constant with this particular system, you are calibrated to deliver 40 gallons per acre, and you'll be delivering one half pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet.